I am the back end handyman. I fix things as cheap as I can, which is often all by myself. I am not a professional. May not be done the right way, but it's done my way. I assume no responsibility if you attempt the same thing and damage anything. Right, now here I am trying to clean this up, make everything flat and smooth. What I do is I take one of these uh, sharpening stones and I just take it and do this until the whole thing's shiny, which it's taken quite a while up here at the top of the uh, pistons is where it seems to be going down the most. This might be the wrong way to do this, guys. This is the only flat way I know that can get the whole head pretty flat without making any dips because if I use a sander and I stop in one spot, I don't want to be taking it down too much. If I use a file or uh, something like that, it might create big grooves in the metal. So I'm just doing this, hoping this will work, man. Now I'm going to clean up the side over here, kind of do the same thing, go through and get all that silicone off of it, get this stuff where I can get to it the easiest. And just for my record, there is a couple of wires over here that were in front of this water pump and that the bolts, how they were screwed into this frame was making it to where I couldn't get that pulley off. And I went ahead and took those out. them right there, those two. That way I could get it off and I wouldn't have to fight with it while I'm trying to put on the timing chain cover. So I got it cleaned the best I could. I sprayed it with my uh, uh, sprayer here. I got acetone in that. I just sprayed the hell out of it. And then I chased the water channel with water. I sprayed the water and then I took air hose, sprayed it out. And I cleaned out these piston chambers. I uh, kind of cleaned off the top of the pistons a little bit. Now I'm getting to where I am going to clean this up. I'm going to go ahead and take this off and this off. And I'll put their bolts up right here and right there. I've seen that my gasket kit, head gasket kit, had the valve seals. So I'll put those in. I mean, I had this valve uh, tool anyway to remove valves, so why not, huh? And I can also lapse the valves to where you put that compound on it right there. And then you have this thing that you spin back and forth and it makes it to where they're airtight again, cleans it all out. So I guess this would be considered a valve job as well. So that's pretty sweet. This has taken me quite a while. I've already did all these other ones, and I finally got a little routine going on, so I think I can show you what I'm doing here. All right, I took all these off because the head casket kit came with these, which is the valve seals. Now, the way I've been doing it, is I squirt a little bit of oil on that. I'll come down here, poke it up through, kind of twist it when it gets there. That way we ain't just fighting with it. And we put our spring and our topper on there. And we get this. Put that on there. And then go down with it. Now you don't want to take it down too far take it down too far then it just becomes a pain in the ass to get them to stay locked in this has been the biggest pain in my ass kind of regret even cha changing them seals now knock it in there now you got them both in a little groove Sam down in there. 
Then you let off of it. Those little keepers will catch. What I've been doing, I don't know if it's a bad thing or not. Go ahead and take your screwdriver and bump on them a few times. Make sure they're good and locked in there. But I'll get it cleaned up and then we'll put it on the car. All right. I got about as clean as I'm going to. That's pretty done clean. Uh, wiped it down, blew it off, and to use to clean it, I used acetone and my paint sprayer. Just sprayed the shit out of it. Then I took my air hose. And a little bit of oily residue that's okay here's the top of the block now we got this casket I don't know if it's supposed to have it like this or what but it fits so I guess so Now I'll put my head on there. Okay, a few things to point out that I've, I've discovered while I was doing this. Uh, go ahead and put your uh, exhaust manifold gasket on and then weave it into the bolt holes of the exhaust manifold since you have the bolts on the head. And then these here, the bolts, since I'm reusing the bolts, I don't know if you're supposed to. Some kits come with new bolts, so I don't... It seems like maybe they want you to replace them on some kits, but I'm reusing them. Some of these big bolts here, the washers would not come off. Maybe it's because they got squished too hard or something. But the reason I say that is because on this bolt, this bolt, this bolt, and this bolt, I couldn't get the washer down past that lip unless I took it off the bolt. But I soon figured out that, well, these ones here don't require the washer to come off because they don't have that close lip to them. So these ones here, I put the bolts that the washers won't come off and then there were four of them that the washers would come off and I put those there. So it all went back together pretty good. Now I just got to tighten these down. This is ridiculous how much you got to tighten these things. In my playlist, there's another guy that redid this, and that's where I've learned how to do this. This is the order he did it, and he seems like he knows what the hell he's doing. The first time, you tighten them all down to 25 foot-pounds, right? And you do them in one, two, in the middle here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you get them all to 25 foot pounds and then you go that same pattern again but you turn it 90 degrees from where it's stopped at on the 25 foot pounds and you also got to make sure that have your also add a little silicone where pins. head and block meet at timing chain location see how i got a little gap there there we go first time i just got it to 25 foot pounds and then I have to go through and do it all again. But this time, instead of just telling me what foot pound to get it to, I have to get it a quarter of a turn, which means I pull it down to here and I go through and do the order of bolts. Let's see, just like that. That was bolt number one. Bolt number two. Bolt number three. Bolt number four. Ooh. Be careful, Mr. Handyman. 
Bolt number five. I feel like one of these is gonna break. And that would suck. Number six. Number seven. Number seven. Number eight. Number nine. And number ten. You're supposed to take it another quarter turn. So you start back at number one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Did it break? No, I see what happened. The wrench broke. The adapter, or the extension. Oh, I shouldn't be using an extension with this much torque on it anyway. Huh, yeah, it has the thing in it. There we go. Okay, that was four, Asen. Okay. Five. All right, and here we go, guys. I put on some uh, gasket maker, the copper stuff. That's what I had. I didn't see anything online showing me how to put it on. So I just took my finger and smoothed it out all, plus, all across the contact surfaces. Even the little bolt hole things. And then I bought me a parts washer. I could clean these up without using my spray gun. I need to get this set on there. Okay, now I got my timings chain on. I went ahead and tightened these bolts here. These ones here, it was 187 inch pounds. These ones here was 113 inch pounds. And pretty much the way I did it is, okay, I started here, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then over here, one, two, three, and then we came and did these smaller ones at the 113 inch pounds. These are the 187, and I did, or th this one, this one, then this one, this one, then this one, this one, this one, this one. And this one, this one. All right, the video I watched, he lined these dots up with the colored links. There's one on the bottom, there's one on each top. I got all three of them on the black links on mine. And I did a rotation of two full turns. And those marks are lined up to point at each other. And that's how they said to do the timing on it, so. I guess the timing set, I hope so, because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I'm just watching other people do it. I got all that lined up. I got this cleaned out. Well, it don't look really that clean, but it is. And I changed the seals here. Made sure all these oil pump bolts were tight and torqued to 113 inch pounds. And then I put my silicone all over there put extra dab like right there and right there on both sides hopefully it'll help seal it off because i didn't know i was supposed to put silicone with the head gasket but we'll see all right guys i went ahead and put on the timing cover uh i couldn't find exactly how tight to get it all? This timing cover actually has three different sizes of bolts. It has size 14 millimeter, it has size 12 millimeter, and in the very middle, 
it has a 10 millimeter that <laughs> that's kind of weird as shit but i went ahead and took all of them going around 20 foot pounds and then the actual 10 millimeter i did 110 inch pounds i believe so and then i just got done putting on the exhaust manifold it says 23 newton meters to do the exhaust manifold so that would be about equivalent to 200 inch pounds you know i got all them done on the back now i will say that it's probably best to put on an exhaust manifold before you put this second part on right here is would have been a little bit easier it would also have been a little bit easier to do all this hoses and stuff before you put this on so maybe do the exhaust manifold before you do the timing cover and timing chain and all that that way it's a little bit easier on you all right just get you guys caught up i put the pulley back on the water pump i put those two grounding straps back on the frame uh i put this pipe right here back in and bolted it in both spots there's one back here on the back of this part and i put the hose on it from right there and that top heater core hose went to it and i put the thermostat back in and tighten that all up um i put this shroud over the top of the intake manifold tightening that up um now i'm about to put more stuff back over here like this little plate that goes right here there's a bunch of hose assembly that goes right here i think that'll all be easier to put in right now before anything else goes in so we'll put that in i'm gonna go ahead and put on this valve cover i cleaned it out i replaced these uh, seals here and replace the big blue one that goes all the way around. It came in the head gasket kit. Uh, so, just ready to put it in there now. Just thought I'd let you see there. And then I'll flip it over. I'll put me a little extra gasket on these two spots right here. Help it seal up. Go ahead and put this gasket on. All right, on the valve cover bolts, I couldn't find the order or anything. All I found was the torque specs. It looked like they said, I got 37 inch pounds on each one of the bolts is what I tightened them to. And I don't know the order, and I'm not even sure if that's right on the inch pounds, but that's what I did. Right there, right there, and then there. And then there, 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 and then there. That's how I tighten them. All right, I changed this gasket out and this gasket. I'm not gonna go like anal about getting this clean in the parts washer but because i don't want to fill it up with uh, solvent i want to get any in there so i'm just gonna change those gaskets and try to put it back on all right and to make it fit easier i put this in there and got some good threads on it and then i just tap it with the hammer open that up a little bit and then i can put it on that hook area a lot easier to where I don't have to fight with it. You just put your bolt in there. No. Just like that. All right, I'll put that thing back in, that little peg. tap it on all right i got this back on i hope i don't have that belt too tight 
just tighten up this set screw here. You move the belt behind that soft pulley over here and over here you go straight down. I realized my other video on how to disassemble didn't really show that and I'd figure it out myself so I figured I'd tell you about it. Alright, and this thing here, I still don't know what it is. I know I said I was going to look it up and all that, but this is broken. I'm just going to try to shove it in there. I don't know if this thing's going to run when I'm done with it, so I don't want to buy a new connector or a new wiring harness. Man, I'd have to replace the whole thing. But this thing here, I'm just going to cram it back in there, see if that works. All right, well, I got the throttle body on there. I got it all nice and cleaned out, as you can see. Vroom, 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 vroom. I got those hoses hooked up underneath it, right there and right there. And the hoses are hooked to the intake manifold under there as well. I forgot to show you that I did that. And I got the spark solenoids in there, all switched down. Yeah, we about to get this thing wrapped up. I'll go get that uh, fuel injectors. Put those on. Put this hose from here, or from that, up here to this. Crawl underneath, put the pan on, and all that. Those injectors. Ah, oh, damn it. Well, the... Head gasket kit don't come with new injector rings, but I took them off because they looked really smashed and flat, and that one broke. So now I guess I'm going to have to find somebody to bring me some injector rings. And of course, we've got the hose back on here. It goes over there. That's connected with the clamps. All good. And I'm going to go ahead and put on our breather now. Let me get this on there. All right, well, I got everything on. The only thing I got left is of course the battery. Hey, I did figure out where this cord came from. Right here, this cord, it was hooked into that. It used to have a different amp on it. So I'll take that off. I already put the wheel back in it. I put the antifreeze back in it, filled it up. Man, I'm ready to start this thing up and hope it runs, but, uh, I can't until I get o injector O-rings, but I guess those happen to be special order O-rings, and everybody has to order them, so I'm like, well, if you guys got to order them, I can order them too, and it's cheaper when I do it, so I'll just do it, but after I get those, I'll put the injectors back in, and we'll fire this thing up and see how it runs. Done. I got my new O-rings in, so I can finally finish this shit up, and... Put on my new O-rings and put my fuel injectors in and see if this bitch runs. All right, I got the fuel injector rail back on. Got those bolts tightened up. I'd take these off so I could put that on there. Let's see if it fires up. This ain't good. It smells like oil. Yep. What the hell that is? Oh, the oil's not leaking out. I'm in the timing chain cover. That would suck. Isn't the water, isn't the oil dripping down here? So that's a good sign. Let this thing get up to operating temperature. See what it does then. Maybe it's just that back gasket for the exhaust manifold. We'll see. Okay, guys. I, done, I went ahead and put that stuff in that jug I had. Because it ain't no good anymore. I took exactly a gallon out of this, which is pretty much how much it holds. And the coolant reservoir was empty is why I thought it was 
blowing it all out. So maybe it didn't blow it all out. Maybe it just cleared the coolant reservoir. Uh, I took the water pump off and looked at it. It looked fine. I took the thermostat out and just put the rubber seal back on there. I'm gonna fill it back up with water and we're gonna see how it does now, you know. Well, I don't see any more bubbles down in there. So maybe I got all the water out of it or all the air out of the system. I did take off the thermostat, so the thermostat might have been bad. That's a brand new thermostat. It didn't look anything like the original thermostat, so I don't know what the hell. Maybe they gave me the wrong thermostat. So I think the head gasket's a good fix. Let's see if anything's leaking. Just that air conditioner. That's supposed to be leaking. So it looks good to me. Thanks for watching and like, subscribe, and hey, I finally fixed something. Thanks for watching. If you would like to help support the channel, check out the links in the description. They are my recommended items, as well as some of the things in the video. If you purchase through the provided links, a small portion of that goes back to me, like, subscribe, and share.